Hi all, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to execute our Cypress tests in uh, Jenkins. So in Jenkins, um, uh, we will create a, a free, freestyle um, our project here and we will see how to execute um, uh, our Cypress tests here. Okay, before that, um, so I am running my um, a Jenkins um, application as a Docker um, a container here. If you see here, uh, if we run uh, docker ps, uh, you can see uh, there is one container is running which is um, uh, Jenkins, okay. So if you uh, navigate to uh, that Jenkins container, if you use docker exec uh, it and uh, container name and then bash so you will be navigated to uh, that container okay after that i just wanted to show you that um, uh, this jenkins container is using um, uh, debian okay so if you go to etc and then uh, os release so if you see it is um, uh, debian okay debian linux so depends on the uh, operating system that you are uh, using and you have installed on um, this Jenkins application. You need to run uh, these commands uh, provided by uh, Cypress um, uh, in the documentation. So if you are running uh, Jenkins application on uh, Ubuntu or Debian, then you need to execute um, uh, this command. If it is uh, CentOS, uh, CentOS, then you need to run this. If it is Amazon Linux, then you need to run this. Um, so, depends on your operating system, you need to uh, run these uh, commands. Otherwise, uh, your Cypress test will not be executed. Okay, if you see here, uh, as part of my uh, uh, Docker container itself, uh, I have uh, executed these tests. Okay, so if you see here, uh, if you navigate to docker jenkins and then my docker file uh, so i'm installing those commands uh, that are related to uh, debian okay so this is mandatory step as i have mentioned otherwise uh, cypress tests won't be executed that's why i'm showing um, uh, all these things uh, so depends on depending on your operating system you need to uh, execute uh, respective commands okay and then okay let's uh, create our um, uh, first pipeline uh, i'm going to use um, my uh, github uh, uh, project uh, that we have created in my previous videos uh, cypress hyphen youtube okay and if you go to uh, Jenkins application and if you click on new item here, there you can enter uh, a name, Cypress Siphon YouTube. And then you can click on freestyle project. Okay. And click on OK. It will create, um, uh, it will give us uh, this kind of uh, configuration um, uh, system. Okay. Before that, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention. Before that, what we need to do is uh, we need to go to uh, manage Jenkins and then uh, navigate to the plugins. There, uh, if you see, you need to install a Node.js um, plugin here. Okay, go to available plugins and search for Node.js there and then install node.js plugin so i have already installed uh, this node.js plugin and you can see it is already enabled it so after uh, this node.js plugin got installed then you need to go to again there is a tools here in the tools section after installing node.js plugin you will see this option node.js installation okay so we need to add this node.js configuration uh, we need to give a name which is uh, node.js uh, 21 version so i am i'm just giving as node.js 21 because um, uh, it is uh, we are using here node.js 21.2 version and if we want uh, we can um, uh, tell that we need to install this cypress globally 
uh, we can write Cypress also here so that it will the Cypress will be installed um, uh, globally here okay so and then uh, click on apply and then click on save so these two things um, uh, we need to do uh, before creating um, uh, our Jenkins pipeline okay so once we navigate here and uh, you will see the same page if you click on configure configure then you will see the same page here okay and then uh, i am going to use uh, the source control management here as a git here so as i mentioned before we are going to use uh, this uh, github uh, uh, cypress youtube project so from there i am copying this uh, https link and then i am uh, pasting here it in uh, a repository url okay so make sure it should be a public repository otherwise you need to create a credentials okay so we need to provide a credentials also here if it is not public uh, repository and then the branch name is um, if you see here the branch name is not master here it is a main branch so we need to change from master to main okay and then in the build environment stage you will see provide node and npm bin folder path we need to click on it and then we need to select the version that we have uh, uh, entered before that is node.js um, 21 so after that uh, uh, in the build steps um, if you see here there is execute shell, shell uh, option is there you need to select that one and uh, as a first line we need to uh, write npm install okay and then we need to run the command uh, uh, that we want to uh, execute from uh, our package.json so if you see our package.json file here so we are running uh, this command from uh, uh, our previous videos also so we will run uh, cy colon uh, cloud uh, here also okay so if you go here and we need to write npm run cy colon cloud okay uh, and then apply and save so once you save uh, the changes there you will see the build now option so we need to click on build now once you click on build now the build will uh, uh, start executing here and if you click here and then you can go to uh, console output uh, like here or we can go to click on that uh, build number and click on console output and if you see here uh, as we have written uh, uh, Cypress to install globally there uh, at the time of uh, uh, setting up the node.js uh, uh, node.js setup it is installing globally npm install iphone g cypress okay and it has added 183 packages it is uh, the installation is completed there and after that uh, if you see and uh, it started executing our commands okay npm run uh, npm install and then npm run uh, cy colon cloud there it is identified our um, uh, command and it started executing our tests okay so if you see here um, uh, like uh, uh, like the way we have seen in our aws fargate um, uh, video we are also getting uh, this uh, uh, unknown special characters um, uh, in jenkins also uh, so for that um, we need to set uh, environment variables right uh, no color is equal to one okay so if you go to the dashboard there and um, uh, go to manage jenkins and then uh, system and if you scroll down global properties here and then you can see here uh, uh, environment variables okay so here name is uh, no color and the value is one apply and click on save okay and uh, let's navigate to our project again 
and click on here and if you see this execution is completed okay and you can see all these unknown uh, uh, special characters okay now go to the project again and click on build now again okay and this time navigates to console output and this time it was very quick because uh, this was already executed um, uh, all the packages were executed before itself and now if you see uh, those special characters are gone and we can see the clear uh, table format output uh, uh, we got here uh, the same way we get in our uh, uh, local execution or uh, any other um, uh, CI uh, uh, execution so here it it took um, identified um, three spec files here and one of them is completed two two out of two and uh, three uh, third one is running here yeah third is uh, completed and you can see the output also here okay so and uh, build status is finally success and you can see uh, the table format output and everything and if you go there uh, click on if you go to your pipeline and the build status is successful okay in this way uh, we can execute our cypress tests um, uh, in uh, jenkins um, uh, freestyle project okay in the next video we will see how we can um, uh, run this uh, cypress tests uh, in jenkins pipeline okay thank you